It's a relatively new process being used here in Washington, at least, and state officials hope it's going to give them a better idea of the number of black bears that are actually living here. It is not easy to figure out how many bears live out in the woods, but the Department of Fish and Wildlife hopes hare can give them a better picture. So this is called a corral. So we have two strands of barbed wire around trees, and then we have a pile of logs in the middle that we pour the lure onto. Nicole Stevens says that smelly bait brings in black bears that leave little pieces of themselves behind. This is one of the sites from last year. We're looking for any hairs that are caught up on these barbs, specifically bear hair. Um, but if we, if we can't tell what kind of hair it is, we'll collect it anyways. And then it's off to the lab where they use DNA to figure out if a bear was there and also which individual bears better than the old way of estimating based on what hunters brought back. The idea is that we'll do a couple of them annually in different parts of the state, kind of walk it around for a few years and begin to have a good sense of how bear densities differ in, uh, in those different landscapes. But you have to go where the bears live. This study is in southwest Washington near Tootle on remote logging roads. Collecting this hair is really kind of hands-on hard work, huh? Yeah, it is. It's, it can be fairly time consuming. It takes us about a day to check nine stations. We have 36 stations total. Maybe it's a bear eyelash. But this is what they're looking for across the first three stations, one tiny hair helping fish and wildlife make more informed decisions about managing the population. It is pretty, pretty interesting. There's a ton of unanswered questions. Near Tootle. That's it. Michael Crow, King 5 News.